What happened to the Titan sub? How did it implode? In this video, we shall explain just that with a very cool demonstration. After emptying out a Sprite can, we filled it up with water. Next, we boiled the water inside, the energy making the molecules excited, converting them to water vapor, a gas. The more heat energy applied to the gas, the more the gas spreads. This also increases the pressure inside of the can because water vapor pushes against the aluminium walls. Upon putting the can into the ice bath, the water vapor will condense back into liquid water. This will lead to less molecules pushing against the sides of the container and hence the pressure inside will decrease. The pressure outside will overtake the pressure inside, creating a disequilibrium, causing the can to Ooh. collapse, and this is called Ooh. implosion. Now, let's compare the Sprite can to the Titan sub. The Titan sub sank at June 22nd when it was 3.8 kilometers deep. At 3.8 kilometers deep, the atmospheric pressure is approximately 400, whereas on the surface, it's only 1. The further down you travel, the pressure increases. To give that context, our brain takes about 100 milliseconds to process pain and our eyes take only 13 milliseconds. So the five passengers wouldn't register the event as it happened. If this video provided value to you, be sure to sub to the channel. Stay scientific.